everyone, how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. And at The Flower Patch I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements from door wreaths, door swags, things for the home decor, things for your business, things for your garden decor, sympathy tributes, weddings and much, much more. <clears throat> right guys, uh, Thank you for all your wonderful messages last night uh, concerning your concern towards Marley. So basically, um, I've been in touch with an online vet and uh, I sent him a little bit of the video where Marley was looking like he was choking, um, which worried me deeply. Uh, Afterwards, it was fine, but I still needed to, you know, find out what was the cause or what it may be. The video, uh, the uh, vet got back to me concerning looking at the video and he said it's nothing to worry about. It's very, very common um, in cats and dogs and it is basically called reverse sneezing, which is um, where they have an... Um, uh, irritant at the back of the palate in the mouth and they basically are just clearing their throat because there's something irritating them at the back and sometimes they may also could cause where they're taking a big gasp of air through their nose um, and that's what also causes it as well it's harmless and um, there's nothing to worry about at all so whew, I told the vet I was so worried, I thought he was choking because he's 10 years old. I know that may not be old for a cat, but in cat years, he's 70. So towards 70, you know, I think it's a young age, 70. But he said it is a, he is a you know, an old age pensioner, the vet said. But uh, not to worry because all cats and dogs do it. It's more common in dogs than it is cats, but cats do do it as well. So then I went on to uh, YouTube and I typed in uh, videos of uh, reverse sneezing in cats and I watched a few videos and it is exactly the same as what Marley was doing. So luckily he's okay and, and nothing wrong and it's just a natural thing. So thank you everybody for your concern. So if he does it again, you know he's just reverse sneezing. So, oh, I've got something touching my leg. Anyway, today I've, oh, and before I start, um, somebody uh, requested that I may put the, vid, uh, the camera over my shoulder so you can see what I'm doing. I have thought of that, I have. But because I've got the shelving here and everything, I really need something on the ceiling to hold the camera and I've got nothing placed on the ceiling. I need a bracket or something to have the camera on. Um, facing behind my shoulder because you know me guys I get up and down so I'd be constantly in the way it'd be in my way and sometimes I go that way so if I placed it this way and I wanted to get some ribbon or anything like that it'd be in my way again so I need a bracket above me really so I'm looking into that um, but thanks anyway you know uh, for your um, your little tip of what I could do I really do appreciate it and I'm looking into it. It's a pity I haven't got a bigger uh, camera or, or area so I wouldn't have to walk into it and then it'd be behind me. So anyway, but thank you. Today, um, I've had a request. Somebody um, texted me about, I think about half past nine last night, something around there. I was busy watching the Olympics and they uh, asked me if I would do a vase arrangement for Christmas, but they just didn't want it too Christmassy, basically. Um, they wanted it in white with flocked foliage and to look with probably one type of floral. And they wanted it to look quite elegant because they want to learn how to do one so they can place one or at the top of their stairs on a little table where they've got at the top for Christmas. And I think that's lovely. So, we're gonna do one. <laughs> I was gonna do a wreath today, guys, but 
when this um, lady came up with this idea and I thought, oh yes, we're going to do one. She doesn't want it uh, asymmetrical or anything like that. I suggested to her that we bring it hanging over slightly. Longer this side, shorter here. With And I suggested placing some baubles, which in the States you call them um, ornaments, Christmas ornaments, in as well. And the flowers that I've got are... I, with the having length with a bit of foliage are these wonderful little I think there was uh, cherry blossoms or apple blossoms I can't remember but I thought we'll put, put those in so we've got those as well with the um, baubles or the Christmas decorations I've got two white uh, iridescent ones then I've got two little ones that one's a bit different color but it still goes and then I've got two um, glittery white ones as well. So there's going to be three on one side and three on the other. So we've got those. She did say, if I wish, placed in a bow. So I have got out a bow bought, or ribbon, but it's just with Christmas trees on. Grey background with silver edging and white Christmas tree with a bit of silver glitter on as well. So we may place a bow in. If I do, it would be in the centre. Um, we have also got, obviously, these aren't flocked, but she did want a little bit of green in, uh, just to, you know, set it off, she said. So I've got out my conifer again. I've got out some pine needles, just in plain green. For movement guys fiddlehead fern and i haven't prepared today either so fiddlehead fern as well for movement i've also got some flocked ruscus which i got this from lily jades i got these from lily jades oops um i got those off timu and these these were from my wholesalers but you can get them on sheen and I've, I've got a bag full of these guys. I've had, uh, when I say a bag full, I've got a bag full. <laughs> um, so these was from last year. I can't quite remember. I think I may have got them off Lily Jades. I'm not sure. But then I've got also my lamb's ear for the softness. And with it being flocked as well. So that is all. Because she doesn't want it um, extremely um, big. She just wants it about... I guess around here just hanging so I've got out my right bar we say vase I think in the stage you say vase but it's the same thing uh, I just call it a container <laughs> easier so that is what we've got to do for our project today so I placed in scraps of um, little bits left from the dried foam at the bottom then I've got a cylinder foam uh, here that you buy in cylinders. And then I've covered it in wreath wrap and placed a long stem that I've got spares of through the middle down to the bottom to hold all the foam together so it doesn't come out. So that is how I do it. I didn't want to glue it in. I don't want glue around it. I don't want to spoil, you know, have glue on the side and see it so I that's how I've done it so then guys we're going to do that let's just get our conifer out I may need that one in a minute let's just cut it all off. So I want this to be hanging because we want it coming down, not up. I think the highest I go is maybe around there, and then at the sides, I want it shorter around there. So it's a bit more of an elegant look. I want to keep it shorter here so you can see the love heart and then uh, have it hanging down this side. 
So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to place that in there and just slightly bend it over. And we're going to do it on the opposite side as well. And just bend that one slightly over. So it just gives a little bit of a bend. So it's leaning downwards like that. And I will place some up here as well. I don't just want them all around the bottom. And with me having them shorter here, I'm going to oh, take them off individually. The pick uh, off the stem, sorry. Place a pick on. And I'm going to cut it short. And we're just going to go like so. So you can still see the love heart. And I'm going to use these three at that front side. And all I'm doing is just placing the picks in the whole way it was onto the main stem. And as you can see, I'm not going across, I'm bringing it down so it lifts it. So if you go down like so at an angle, you can see, look, it's lifted it and then just slightly tilt it. I'm going to use these little oddments that I have left because we don't need long stems. And then I'm going to place one. Again, going down like so at an angle so it's high up. Up. With these, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna bring some up here like that. Again, I don't want it too high. If I, I may perhaps go smaller than that. If so, I will cut these down. So let's get three more for the opposite side. one if you've got little picks that you cut off your long pick save them when I very first started I used to throw them away until I realized I could use them especially if you're doing things like compact arrangements as well whoops compact arrangements that and then it, you know it's just long enough without having to use a, a, a long one a fresh one. So we'll cut these down. And we'll do the same on the back. Again, I'm going down like so, and then just slightly bending it. The lady said <laughs> something like a spaceship shape. <laughs> I thought that was quite a good ex uh, description. So we'll bend that. So we've basically got it. Let's just move that one out a little bit. Like that around. So I'm going to get another one and I'm going to place it. Whoops, the daisy, I've just elbowed. And I'm going to place it above. Yes. 
some more out. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Like so. If you want it uh, longer and you want something else in it, you can easily, you know, I mean, that is the foliage, but I want to be placing things like this in so it just hangs slightly longer down the sides. So I'll just put those there a moment. Oh, mind you, no, I want to place some of this in the centre. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want that length, I'm going to cut this conifer. I've only left my, there's only a little piece of stem there. So I will just pull off the bottom few bits of pine needles just to give me a slightly longer stem for me to place it in. So it's going to go. Like so, and the end bit I will use Do the same again. If you just go down, you'll see where there's a bit of spear, you know, stem, however long you'd like it to be. Just by moving some of the pine needles, you'll see it. I'm not going to do them all the same size. I want a variety. As you can see, I put the one with the point on there with the tip. So then I've gone opposite. So there's one there and then I've gone opposite in a diagonal position. And then the flat pieces here are also opposite. I don't put two pointed tips here and then too flat there, then it doesn't look balanced. So then I'll do the same with this one. I don't want to actually place that. I could place that in the middle as one. So I'll put that on a pick and I'll press it in as far as it will go. We'll place that in the middle. Like that. So then you have that. So we'll keep those aside in case. I just grabbed a few things, guys. Again, I had to go into my Christmas box for the baubles or the Christmas ornaments um, to get those out. So now I want to add in some fiddlehead fern. I did, before I start, cut a few off because I know these can be quite <laughs> time consuming if you want to place them on individual picks. So I've done, cut some off and then also placed the odd ones on picks. I don't know how many I'm going to need, guys. I just, well, I'll just take a handful out. And again, we're doing this for the movement. And these are fabulous for the movement, guys. So we'll do those again. I'm cutting down the stem. I don't want it too long. And then I'm going to place one there. And then one on this 
this side. I'm only trying to put the smaller um, foliage, things like the fiddle over phone I won't place on this side. Um, because it's too long and I'm going to bring one down here. Know what that is? Let me chop that bit off. One moment, guys. I think the uh, the plastic has lifted. like that. I've got two more here that I'm going to bring up. So we'll just cut this stem a little bit shorter. So I'll bring those coming out from the center. Well, it's a ter not very nice day today, but they did say it's going to warm up this afternoon. I started to have a bit of a little bit of rain. Right, I've got some of these now. Have I got any more? No. I'll pull one off of it. Oh. Place that on a pick as well. Again, I've not prepared today, guys, because I've been out with Benji this morning and it's been a long walk that me and my neighbour had with the dogs. We went into town and went to the bank and we took the dogs. So these are from the Fiddle Head Fern as well. And I want some of these to come round here. That's the reason I chopped just and put some of these on picks so it can go around where the smaller part of it is. So I'm going to place two on either side. So it's like that. I'm going in between these two conifers, these three conifers. I'm just thinking that those conifers may be slightly a bit too long. So I may trim those down. I'm just bending them over. Yeah, I'm going to trim them down because they're looking a bit like that. So I'm going to cut that one. save those because I can use those. I'm cutting them short. That's how I want them. That's the look that I had in my head. These are a little bit too long. That's better. So again with these I could just use these pull off the few pines at the bottom just so I've got enough to stick them into the foam and 
I'm going to place these around the bottom as well. Oh, I can't get that in. It's got no wiring. So I'll make a hole for it. Oh my gosh, I can't get that all right. There. Take that glue off now because it's dry. And I'm just sticking them at the, around the bottom here. I'm using something sharp just to give it a little bit of a hole. I'm leaving the pick in so I know where the hole is. It makes it slightly easier then to place in. I'm going to do three on each side. I can't see now. Oh, there it is. So I've done that. Just place those little bits that I chopped off underneath. Again, I don't like to waste anything, so let's get them used. So I'm going to do the same around here. It's not going in. I've got something in my face. Let's try again. There we have it. One. I just have to face these bald guys with them being so tiny. I need to see. Oh, I was watching a couple from America who um, he's got British ancestry in him in his family tree and things i can't remember what they call the gentleman and the lady i think i mentioned it the other day um and they were showing you uh, they taste uh, what what um, the british mcdonald's have as ingredients in their food to the british because with him being brit half british he wants to you know, find out about how the British live and the costs of things and and people over here. Yeah, I've mentioned it before where they send gifts over like food. You call them chips where you get them in a bag. Um, we call them uh, crisps. So there was doing one on crisps as well last night. There's McDonald's um, and there was tasting all the different varieties of what they've been sent of crisps. Well, we have flavoured chips or crisps. Um, like chili, sour cream and chives, um, bacon flavour, um, curry. Uh, we have all different types of crisps or chips. And there was tasting them. And the blessed the lady, she was trying them and she was going, Mmm! <laughs> Bless her. Oh, I like these. So, yes, um, I've subscribed to her channel because I... I, I just like to see, you know, how, how she thinks, because she doesn't know anything about our country, really. And um, they want to see what our food's like compared to the States. And um, they couldn't get over uh, how much. You call them cookies as well. We've got cookies, but we also have what we call biscuits. 
and uh, where you, you have a hot cup of tea and we've got different varieties of tea as well, hot drinks. Um, I think she said that you only have like an iced tea. Oh no, we have hot tea where it can be strawberry flavour tea, lemon and ginger, um, turmeric, um, peppermint, all things like that. Uh, and just natural tea, you know, what you put milk in and things like that. And they was loving it, the variety of what we got. And then they tried the, Mac, the concerning the McDonald's. And they could, they was watching where they was, somebody was doing what they got in the, your McDonald's in the States to what the UK have. Uh, we've got three ingredients in our, um, what was it that I was looking at? I think it was the burger, I think. But I'm sure it, would, it may have been the burger, but something to do with one of the McDonald's varieties. And we'd only got three ingredients. Oh no, it was the drink. And in our drink and in the states i think you had about 12 different ingredients in yours um and the lady was um, you know saying that they don't in the states they don't really have care about what they're putting in it they're more you know concerned about the money not the health of the people now in in the uk we have a ban on quite a lot of things what go in your foods and I felt really sorry for you in the States because I think, well, it shouldn't be about money, should it? It should just be about, you know, the health of the people. And I found that quite interesting, listening to that. And she she was, like, quite shocked at what the States have in their foods and that. But then, you know, there was a good side. She was trying different things foods and that what we have uh, which was quite quite nice see you later see you later have a good day what are you doing about your tea I'll grab my own. okay take care Bye. so my son's going to work you know what i've just thought about guys i, I think i may add a little bit of a silver bit in it but here we've got i'm going to place in again I may cut some of these up to place at the top. Let's just see. Because they are quite long. Yeah, I'm going to bring some at the top first. And just bring some coming out here. But yes, it was very interesting. But the, the couple are lovely. The husband and wife. Oh, they've got a little girl called Sophia. Oh, she's so sweet. But yeah, it was really interesting what you guys have and what you call in the States and, you know, the f different food varieties. And then they did one on the price of, you know, shopping and that, where in the, U the UK we get a lot of, um, again, restrictions on pesticides when it comes to growing vegetables and things, you know, like that. So there's not a lot of chemicals allowed in our foods. But in the States, the lady was saying that they do, they've got half of their food is more chemical than natural. That's, isn't that a shame? Isn't that a shame? But I still found it really interesting. I thought it was wonderful. I love to see how other people live in other countries. Well, you get the better weather. <laughs> the better weather than what we get. So I want to just bring a few around the front here again for like foliage, filler foliage, just to have a bit of this lovely wispy, flocked, well it's like dusty, I don't know if you can see on my hands the white dust that's come off of it. But yeah, I really enjoyed the programme and the, the lady and her husband are really sweet. But she loves the English uh, food. And it's all, you know, and we, we tend to moan about it. <laughs> but the cost of it though is such, oh my gosh, 
it was more than I actually thought because some things are like in the UK are 70% cheaper than in the States and I couldn't believe it and your bread is so expensive I was, oh, I may put one in the middle let's see because again for height I don't know if I want it that high place that there but yes there was testing or nuts peanuts and things like that what variety we have um, I mean we have salted peanuts roasted peanuts um, I've had um, curry peanuts all things like that um, but yeah it was quite very intriguing on what you guys have they was more intrigued what we have but I was more intrigued what you guys have right I want to just place in one of our flowers now I always say manipulate your flowers don't just leave it as a plain long stem because it doesn't look natural you know by placing it in if I try to get another one and then just what would you prefer you know I always say to people what would you prefer that sticking out like that or manipulate it to have a bit of shape now I prefer the shape everybody's got their own opinion there's no right or wrong for you you know it's what you your own you know preferences I like shape because I find it's more of a natural look so what I want to do with these is lean these over the side leaning on top should I say of the from this on the side of the conifer so like so Uh, like that just give it a little bit of a bend so it's leaning further down so yeah I've got hooked on that pro on that uh, lady and gentleman's site I think it's because I like to I like to know you know how other countries are and live and the costs of their living it's always interested me so that is like so I think I'm going to put a little it's wobbling a little bit I think I'm going to put some let me just get some of my odd bits of foam I've got a thin piece here and I'm going to just break it up just to stop it wobbling uh, so all I'm going to do is to take little pieces like that and place it down the side because I can feel it wobbling slightly because it's not touching the side and I'm going to push it in as far as I can get it without it showing let's do another little piece on the opposite I'm just pushing it below the top of the bars. That's better. There. I have a little uh, basket full of little just oddments that I use. Instead of using a fresh block, I save the little bits. If they're big enough to use anyway, I don't save the tiny little things. So let's get another now I want to split this like so and again this is going to go at the side of it I don't really want I could bring some out from there 
Oh, excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. Um, I could bring some out from here, down there as well, by splitting one. But I want to place, um, I'll do I bring that actually in the middle. Let's have a look at our placement of our, uh, what was, yeah. So I'm going to bring one there, one here first. So let's do it that way first. So it looks like it's just carrying up above. We'll do it, place that one in as well. It's not as long that one. So I'm gonna take that one out guys and I'm gonna place that on the side. I'll use manipulating it so it's mimicking what's on the opposite side so as you can see that dome shape so with these two then I'm going to put those one here and then one on the opposite side as well. So let me just take off that glue from when I pulled it out. Just like that on that side. that look pretty now I have this one left now do I put it there and place this in the center at the top Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's put these two little leaves left on small picks and place those in as well. Oh, I was researching things today. Um, I have joined, just joined a new group, a UK group, where they make wreaths and they sell stuff and things. And I went through, and it, uh, you have to sort of like apply and then they get back to you if you've been accepted. And so then you can then go and look on their site. So I went on their group and I went on and I applied and it's come back that, you know, I've been accepted. And I was having a quick look this morning. Oh my gosh, guys. You know some of the things you get in the States, these lovely whimsical, woo, you know, whims, uh, faces and gin, big gingerbread men and things like that. This young lady does them. And uh, oh, it just reminded me of the States, you know, everything that you get. And oh, I was overjoyed. Absolutely overjoyed. I couldn't wait. So I asked her if she could make me something right with these baubles or christmas ornaments i want to bring because it is a for, for a christmas one there one the opposite side again leaning over and then maybe the smaller one around here i could have them as like that but I've got my flowers here. I don't want them leaning on the flowers. I could have them underneath. 
but I don't I think that's a bit too much so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring one either side a big one either side of the floral so the, I'm using the big ones for this again I'm just lean that over and then I'm going to place the small one in between here this flower up here and this hanging down So I'm basically just having that, like that, if you can see. Again, just to add a little bit of decor, you know, to represent it Christmas theme. And I'm going to do the same. Now, I, I could easily go put this one here, but I usually go opposite with each one so then you've got a variety i don't tend to use the same one at the front like so because then it looks like you're making a square you know with them being the same so i alternate and i go opposite each other to me it gives it more of a nice eye view and you know when you're looking at it instead of just being the same on either side. More interest, that's the word I was looking for. So then I do this one on here. Well, I've got a bit of glue on that. That's it. Like so, and then I'll get the smaller one. And do the same with this one. And stick that one like so. So then you've got your ornaments sticking either side. Doesn't that look pretty? Because some people just don't want the, uh, the symmetrical or the asymmetrical shape either. They just want it to just hang over and just have it shorter at the top and longer sides and that's what the lady uh, was asking for so I've got again let me just go and see what I've got in silver guys because I want to have a little bit of silver to it let's have a look oh my gosh oh I've got these as oddments I'll use these I can remember placing them off or something. I've got these. These are like, I don't know, <laughs> between Ruskus, I think. Well, they look like Ruskus. But just to add a little bit of interest as well, we'll place those in. Um, but I'm going to be placing in our pine now. And again, these are quite long. So let's just put a few in. And again, with them being long, they are going to go, <coughs> excuse me, on the side here. And then I'm going to just bend them slightly. I'm going to place four in. One either side again. I'm just going to bend them before I place them in. I'm just tilting them like that instead of keeping them straight. Again, I'd rather, if I placed it in straight, it would just stick out like that. I want to give it that shape and structure of a, you know, a round effect at the bottom. Oops, I need to cut it. So I am just bending them over. 
Sometimes I do it before I place them in, guys. You know, again, there's no right or wrong way. It's just how you feel easier. You know, if it if it's better for you to do it that way, you you tend to find your own way of doing things. What's easier on yourself? Right, I've got. I've cut that. Yeah, I'm going to place that in there. Have I got another one like that? No. So what did I do? Oh, I cut the centre out. So let's cut the centre out. And do exactly the same on this side. Just by cutting the centres out. And I can place these in again around the bottom. The little bits that are left. And I'm placing these up at the top to give, you know, to take up above what I've got down below so it's flowing all the way around so it becomes like that so oh, I can't pull those off they're too tiny so I've cut and all I do is get a pair of sharp scissors Cut up the centre of the stem to take some of the pine needles off. So then I've got something to push it into the foam. So I've only got three of these. So I'm going to do them in a triangular position around the bottom. So I'm going to have one here. I really could do with four. One here. I think you'll see I need four. One there. Yeah, I need four. Let's just... Grab one. Oh, I keep getting up. I should have been prepared. This is why I don't like being prepared because I don't like to keep getting up and down. I'll do the same with this one. when I went into town with my neighbour this morning and the dogs oh my gosh my neighbour found um, some money on the floor in English money £10 yeah, that may be about fifth, I don't know $13 um, but she found it on the floor in the market and she gave it well, my, husband, my son sorry works in a charity shop um, to do with Heart, Heart, British Heart Foundation um, and uh, we, I had to call in to take him some money because it was Mum, can you go and get my card and I haven't got time my bank card, I'm going to get me some money out of the bank and I said yes, okay, I'm going into town so I did that and I dropped it off at his workplace and I was having a chat with his boss, we were having a laugh and and my friend uh, donated it to their charity. We we did stand around waiting to see if somebody had come because I said, oh, it may be some uh, little old lady or gentleman 
uh, who's dropped the pennies. Um, so we stood around waiting. Nobody came looking for it. So we waited a while. Um, but in the end, we thought, right, we'll go when we go to my son's shop, which is a charity shop. We will donate. She's she donated it. So that's what we did. All for a good cause. But yeah, we, I don't like it when people drop money because it's hard times enough as it is. Right, I'm going to be placing some lamb's ear in underneath the baubles or the Christmas ornaments. So as you can see, it's lying underneath there. So that's what I'm going to do with this one as well and round the opposite side. They hang lovely. Am I going to bring some around the front as well? Yes, I'm going to bring a few around the front. I still need some bits in here, guys. Well, that's that one. Don't you just love lambs here? So we'll bring some around the front. I've got glue all over my nails. I was wondering whether to bring some of the bulb as well. We'll see. So what I'm wanting to do it's the same here. Oops, it's got it upside down. Let's quick turn it before it sets. Push that in a little bit more. And then one on this side also. Just so it's like that, so it's got like a little um, border or something what makes it look like the flowers are leaning on it, but also give it that shape that it doesn't, you know, look too odd. Give it a nice, pretty shape. But by placing them in a little bit further than the ones you round the side, because we don't want them sticking out like those. So I'm pushing these in further. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's have a look. I've done many of these in flocked, just flocked foliage. Um, and they, they're lovely. They're great for a wedding. Great. So I'm going to place in one around the central point here. As you can see, around the central point there. So I've Place that one there, so I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So like that. So I can still see, you know, we're needing... Let me just turn that around. Some... 
bits because we've still got the gaps. on this one as well the lead you twisting around like so isn't that pretty so let's get some of these in I've been looking at for a certain style of poinsettia in black with white stitching um, because I wanted to do a black and white Christmas theme so I've been looking for that as well and I spotted some that are really really nice but for four, they wanted in English money um, twenty-seven pound ninety-five for four. That was on Amazon. I, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that. I, I'm sure with plenty of research, guys, I can find I can find what I'm looking for somewhere else. I think that's ridiculous. When they it doesn't matter, I guess where you live or anything. But I think it's ridiculous to charge that much. Just for four items and there wasn't nothing special with them there was plain black um, there wasn't any better quality than the ones that I've chosen before and they just had white stitching and I don't know I mean I don't mind going on Amazon for certain things but not paying that just by adding a little bit of silver, guys. Doesn't that look pretty? Let's have a look what we've got. Two of you on the opposite side. So, yes, um, I'm just going to have to keep searching. I did go on Timu and have a quick look on there, but they didn't have what I was looking for. They just had, you know, plain black. And I, I didn't want just plain black. You know when you've got a style in your head that you're looking for and you want to try and get that or then near about. So as much as they was very nice from Amazon, I'm not going to pay the, that amount for. Because then if I sold the arrangement, I would be having to make a put a lot of price on it so you just think um, say like 28 pounds and then you're doubling it you, you know that's 56 pounds just for for the uh, poinsettias which is, I think is unfair right and I'm going to place these little pieces just above the flower here I've got two little pieces and the one left what I may be able to get in the centre I may have to put a pick on that yeah it's got nothing on it right let's get a pick so I've got one of the small picks. I'm going to just dip in a, the top of it in a bit of glue and then sit it on top of the, the stem of the leaf. Then I'm getting my white, with me using white, I'm getting my white floral tape, placing it over the top of the glue, like so, just holding it so it attaches and then I start wrapping around the stem. I will go down past the stem of the leaf and then go back up just for a little bit of extra support. I will tear off the tape 
I leave about that much. Then use your glue gun. I've not switched it on again. <laughs> again, I keep forgetting. And then I just wipe a bit of the glue on the tip. Just like so. And then I carry on with my tape, wrapping it around. So then where the glue is, it sticks. Because I've had many experiences, I don't know if you have guys, where the tape seems to after a while unstick. Um, I've done it even in fresh flowers when I did real flowers. So I, I just take it now and glue, put glue on it. And I haven't got to worry. And that can go then in the centre as well. So then that is that. Now let me look because I still feel I need something. Let's let's just have a think here, guys, while we sit here. You see, I have got and I keep looking at them. Greens and whites, foliage and floor of bit of floral. <clears throat> Let me get them. There's a variety of them, guys. A really big variety of them. Um, let me just close that back there. Along with that. And along. Right, let me see. I'll grab, a, grab that. Now this is where everything... I'm going to grab a bunch of every one of each. Is that right? If I can. What's that one? No, I can't grab a bunch of that. Let's Oh, I've got some odd links of that here as well. Right. Now, this is the choice I have. And I've got lots of each. And I brought all these stocked up basically for Christmas. So, things like greenery with white tips um, can look, represent snow. I always do that because I like it to represent the snow. But I don't want to use something too bushy because it's such a pale frosted colour. These are not frosted. Um, so I could use fern in there. I've got frosted fern. I've got spiky frosted um, fern. I've got the foxtail fern. So if these don't look right, I mean, I've got the roses. I don't think they're going to know. They're too big. If you look at those, they just don't, the green of it is too vibrant for this, you know, greyy, flocked look. So they're not going in. I was looking at these for a bit of the movement. You know me, guys. Wispy. I've got some of these as well. Oh, that's still on the bunch. Let's just try. No, I can tell once I try straight away. I think they're too bushy. Yeah, they're too bushy. And then I've got these with the grass. Oh, one's popped off, so let me use that as a. Now that may be okay because it's got spiky um, sword grass with it and it's not too much. So I may use those because I want a bit of a bit fuller you know for the filler foliage as well around the bottom because I can still see gaps and the foam through it and I'm not wanting to see that so let me just take one off and just place it there and have a look 
right. Hang on, guys. Again, I'm so sorry if I keep getting up. I should have prepared myself. I knew. Not if I didn't do this. Or what about those? I've just spotted these are flocked as well with berries. Yes. Where's that sword glass? So that can go on there. We're not going to use these after all. Because it just the, the colour is going out of sync with what we've got. We've got like the frosted look and I want to stay within that look. You know, like the lady said, flocked foliage. And that's what we're going to keep within. Don't want to start changing it. So let us just see. Now they are quite... I snipped that one off. Don't be frightened to cut things down. Turn that around a little bit. Yes, it's better cut down. And we can use these as well. Oh. I don't know why I don't just take off the raffia. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off the berry from the actual fern, but the, the berries here have got a little miniature fern on, so we're going to keep those two together, keep the longer fern separate. So that's one, two, three, do the same on this one. That's four. six and I may place the one in the middle I may it may not be needed so we'll do the same here I've just placed that one there I want two either side of this small flower in the center at the front and so let's get one other side and I'm going to bring it there so as you can see it's just popping out there but it's given it movement and um, also with the ber white berries or the buds it's given that extra little bit of different texture to the arrangement I don't think I'm not putting a bow in either. I don't a bow's not needed. And again on that side. So then I'll do the same on the opposite sides. The side here. here as well doesn't that look pretty what a nice little piece to have at the top you know of your stairs as you walk up, something subtle but gives a little bit of a frosty look. Now I've got two, I may have to put a pick on those and bring those down as well. 
So let's get this one in. And I'm going to go under the flower at the bottom, just there. So let's get a pick for this one. Now this has got green stem, so we'll use green tape. And we'll just glue it. Now I can see where it needs to be glued again. I just get the glue on the pick, stick it on the stem like so. And then I get the tape and then I place the tape over, I have to do it this way guys because I'm this way, over the glue. So then that bottom piece sticks and then I just press it down and then I grab it and then I start to wind the tape around the stems. Go below the stem of the bud and fern. And then I come back up again, just for a little bit of extra, you know, support. Cut a bit off, leave a little bit hanging. Dip, or get your glue gun. Place a little bit on the the tape of glue and then carry on winding it around the stem so then you know then that glue is going to stick the stem together so it becomes like that we'll just cut this one down a little bit and place this on the opposite side underneath the flower. We will go here. Just like this. So you've got a little bit of there. So what we've got here, we've got down here. Now I've, I do have these ferns as well. I may bring those out. I'm not going to waste them. So we'll bring these out also. Let's cut short. That one will need a pick on it because it's not got a long enough stem. So there we have that one as well. So now we have these, again these are also dusty or flocked, lightly flocked, but they've got that like a little frosty look to them. So I'm going to bring, because the lady didn't want a lot of flowers in, I could easily bring more flowers in, but if I brought flowers in they'd have to be really delicate. Um, you know, just small like these. I could easily bring some more of those in. Or I could just leave it as it is. What's that down there? No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything else to it. So Right, I'm going to place these around the bottom as well. Place one either side. So I'm going just under the lens here. Slightly tilting it downwards. 
again so it's drooping down do it on these as well and then under this one also Doesn't that look pretty guys? Look at that. No, I'm just you know what? Something's bothering me and I know what it is. I'm gonna place I don't know if you can guess. You know how we've gone down like that? with that and then we've got a gap and then the one at the bottom i'm going to place in a white flower in the center here between the top and this one at the you know the bottom so i'm going to cut these again as well i'm going to do two cut them oh this one's different oh Let's have a look. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like so. See if there's a mill. Just cut the stem a little. So what I'm going to do, because you can see there's a gap there for no floral. I mean, I have got four, so I could either bring it the no i'm going to do it actually either side use one either side of here and then it fills in this area what's just green and uh, with a bit of white floral so what i will do is use one of each on one side and you know the tip and the bottom on the other i don't need no more of those so Again, let me just because it's it's been bothering me. There's something a bit of colour needed, like that. Look now, doesn't that look better, guys? Much better, more balanced. And very pretty as well. like that so it's, it looks more full than not having nothing so we've got the tip here which is the top part so now that will go directly opposite uh, to diagonal position so it will go this side instead of opposite that one because otherwise it won't look balanced and with the bottom piece I will put here instead position it correctly in my hand and it's again we're filling up that space but with some floral instead and then I'll place this one opposite here Now that is better. So I'm happy that that is now balanced and it's covered that space that was that I could see. And I like that. And that, guys, 
is our project completed. I know I've got things like this, but it's completed for today. Let's just actually with this one, I could place that in the middle as well. That's so. So it's our, our com, uh, project completed for definite now. For, to, uh, for today, it's a uh, lovely arrangement. I think it's very subtle, beautiful and soft to the eye. There's no bow needed, guys, unless if you want to put a bow under here, you can. But I've got the love heart, so I want to show that love heart off. So I'm not going to place a bow on. So, okay, not everything that we do needs to have a bow. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something nice. I love requests, me. I really do like requests of people. Let me just place these on a little band keep them together so they're oddments in fact they could just go in my oddments book, uh, bag because there's only those three left so let them go in there and all those can go back so guys i hope you enjoyed that and it was something you know what may inspire you to give it a go see no they're not long enough um something to give a go for yourself or for a, a friend family member you know your mom and dad your, you know anybody really your gran and granddad to place in their house whether it be at the top of the stairs in when you know at christmas or in the the sitting room and just give them something nice and frosted uh, look uh, but very also very subtle because not everybody likes you know big wacky colors and things like that so some people just like subtle textures and subtle colors so there's nothing wrong with that at all i think that's really pretty just adding that little silver as well i think has added it and just with you know something subtle by just adding a few little baubles or christmas ornaments just to add in um just to show that it's representing christmas but then again guys this could also be used as a wedding uh, arrangement on the table you know or on the guest table or in the entrance as you walk in um you know that would be really pretty and just do things like that guys it's it's very easy to do you're not going too high you're not coming out this way too far it's shorter here and longer down the sides and then just a small height above so you've got a small dome shaped arrangement so and just by adding the frosted uh, foliage or waxed or you know some with a bit of snow on it you know will add all the lovely textures of winter and the look and the theme of Christmas so again I hope you enjoyed that guys please subscribe share and like to the world as you know <laughs> everybody you know guys I hope you have a wonderful day God bless you all and good health and thank you kindly as always for your concern towards Marley. You know, that really touched me that, that really did. Um, and also thank you for your wonderful messages. I always, always, you know, I'm touched by your generosity, you know, by giving your time out to watch my videos. I think it is so heartwarming and very touching of you and very kind so you know thank you from the bottom of my heart really guys thank you so much 
you're wonderful people and you're wonderful at your crafting and you're making your arrangements keep it up guys you can only get better you know i know i had a lady saying that she had bows and she found it hard to get the bows right oh my goodness gracious me guys it took me six months to grab you know get grasp the idea of making bows um, don't don't be frightened by the six months the figure that's just me you could be quicker but my trouble were and my tutor pointed it out years ago was because i was watching a lot of videos of different people making different bows in their own way every person i watched had their own way of making bows so i was taking on board everybody's way and i was confusing myself I didn't know which was the way to do it, how to do it, which was the best way to do it, you know, because they were saying that was the better way and to do it. Others were saying it was the better way. So I became confused over it. So my tutor told me to just stop watching lots of people, just watch one person, you know. Um, th there'll always be one person who, who will, you, that you will sort of like relate to more than the others. So if you find that one person, then stick to that one person. So that's what I did in the end. But then also with a lot of help from my tutor, you know, back in my day, um, she helped me a lot to, you know, because when back in my day, guys, we didn't have the bow dabras or we didn't have the uh, bow makers, anything like that. It had to always be done by hand. So I just couldn't get the them to sit correctly. Um, I couldn't understand why uh, but again lots of practice now we're fortunate we've got the videos and YouTube and things like that just watch somebody do them who you relate to or you find their ways easier and you think yes I can do that and stick to that person and also practice you know just get some old scraggy bits of um, you know bows and then just practice trying to make the bow if it doesn't look right undo it start again whether you're doing it by hand or on the bow maker i now found it easier on the bow maker i can do them by hand but because i have arthritis in my hands i find it easier on the bow maker so if you do have any health issues and that i suggest you know if you wish to try out the bow maker because that will hold your bow for you while you're making your loops so it puts no less strain on your hands. So, again, guys, thank you so much. And if you need any advice or help or, or you know, any tips about anything or concern that you worried about colours, if what they may go together, or if you want to send me a picture of anything that you've done, or by you know, uh, sending it me. To my email, you know, it's the flower patch twenty four zero one at gmail dot com, and I will gladly answer your um, look at your emails and your pictures, and I will help you if I see anything that you could improve on with it or take something out. I will give you that constructive criticism, guys because I want to help you guys, you know, because I know you all want to go. I've heard lots of you say to me, you want to be better than what you are. You know, um, I've had people email me and say, you know, I wish I, I could make things like you. Oh, you can, guys, you can, you really can, guys. Um, you know, once you start and you do practice, and the more you do, the better you get at it. You may not realise, there'll come a time where you realise, Actually, I don't have to think about how I'm doing this. I can, I know where it goes. I know how to place things. Um, you know, there you go. You've hit the jackpot. And then you'll find a design where you come up with and you, you find your own signature style. Don't try and, I mean, if you want to copy my design in different colours and, you know, you may want to bring it down lower or shorter, you know, I'm honoured, you know. But don't copy everybody's design by each element. Use your own imagination and use your own elements, what you think would look pretty with it, because not everybody has the same look on 
designs and opinions on designs as others. So this may be nice to some people and other people they may not like it. So you'll have to try and think of different designs and creativity to cater for all designs. So this I could have easily have done bigger, but the lady said just something small and not too big. And that I think is what we've achieved. And it looks grand. And I'm sure all of yours will look grand too, guys. So again, please subscribe, share and like to the world and to everybody who you know. Have a wonderful day, guys. And God bless. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart for your wonderful for you wonderful people to subscribe to my channel i really am honored so take care have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow all the best guys and i love you all bye right guys let's just try and get a little bit of a close-up So there we have our lamb's ear with our silver, I can't make out whether it's supposed to be ruscus or if it's just fern type look. Um, there's our buds and as you can see the flocked white dusty bits on the leaves of things, you know, and also on here on the fern, the dusty white stuff on it as well. And then we've got our bauble there, the glittery one. You've got the the gloss one there. Let's, I just turn it. And then you've got the iridescent one there. And then you've got your lovely white flowers, your blossoms. Again, with your pine needles. You can put pine needles in that. I've got flocked on the tip, you know, with snow effect. That would look pretty. Um, again, your ruscus here. Your fiddlehead fern again, which is also flocked, as you can see. You can see the dirt on my hands now. Uh, there, look with the white. I don't know if I can get in closer. There, you can see the white on there, guys, where it's flocked. We've got our conifer, and again, we've got what else did we put in, guys? I think there's some. Oh, the fern as well. Here's the fern as well was slightly flocked not as much so we've got those so i hope you enjoyed that guys and i hope it inspires you to have a try even if it's not for christmas just you know have a go at doing it for just a place in your house or in your family or friend's house you know and just try the shape more than anything the structure of it and you could do it in your autumnal colors you know, summer colours, because we still are in summer, um, or even Christmas colours. You know, anything, guys. Your deci you decide on that, you know, to your own preference, because I know it will look beautiful. But if you've not tried this style before, give it a go. I'm, I'm sure you'll be overwhelmed by, by what you can achieve. So enjoy your day, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.